Hello everybody, I am Bones, uh, and I first we're doing a two-parter Let's Play in the same day. Uh, Cattails, we did it earlier, and we made mischief here. Um, now, I played a little past the Let's Play. Um, we're gonna turn the audio down just a little bit here, guys, just because I know some of you have trouble hearing me perfectly. So, we'll put it at about there. Um, anyways, so let me show you what's changed here. Not that much. Um, I have upped his hunting a little, fighting. Um, I have decided here that I'm going to start with diplomacy. I'm saving his XP up for a real. A big skill, and I'll tell you why, is I've noticed here on this map, guys, that you'll see this area, and you see this one. There are a few areas I feel like we're close to conquering, but not quite there yet, and I feel like that skill is going to come in really handy, so I want that. Um, I also ended up uh, doing... Uh, these promo codes here, just to give them a little look, just to give them a look. So here are a few helps that you can see. Um, you can find these, I found, on lots of things. So if you want a totally cyan tinted cat, you can have him. He's actually pretty cool looking. Uh, there's Mossy. I went with this one here, the Chuckle Bengal. I thought it fit him, so, uh, originally I was going to title this video Paws and Stripes Forever, because I thought it would be funny, but I actually found an even better name, uh, which I, I told the miss, and she has agreed, so that is the one I will go with. I don't know why the heck I just caught it. Nothing there, guys. Um, also, uh, do, 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 do. you can see here we have uh, something happened where uh, Coco led me to this temple and told me a bit about a forest guardian. That happened in the uh, time that you guys have not been around. See, so this is another one there. I feel like I could easily use that skill and help conquer some ground for us. And I believe I am right, by the way, guys, on my theory that when we conquer ground, we start getting uh, new stuff. Like, as far as our cats, we start getting more cats that'll patrol that area. Um, anyways, so the temple pillars seem to have things they want, objects, and you pick these objects up and you drop them off. I am at... I need a rabbit, a brown rabbit for mine. Um, that's the only thing I need for this first pillar anyway. I have other things that I needed, but I dropped them off. But I didn't want to get too far ahead before I did more. This is the same day. Um, we've been rocking out with this one a little bit, talking about it. Um, and as I said, this is a very pleasant game. Uh, it is very different than anything else. Um, really in my library, you'll notice a lot of the stuff that I have in my library tends to be like... Uh, I'm not like military shootery, so I don't do a lot with like CSGO or any of that junk. I'm not like a military shooter guy, but uh, as I say that, somebody on my list is playing Counter-Strike. That's nice. Um, but, <laughs> I don't do a lot of those, but I do do a lot of, like, old-school shooters, so you'll see some of that on occasion, uh, on my list. Um, a few puzzle games here and there, some weird ones. Um, I'm a big fan of weird games. One thing I learned, too, by the way, if you hit R, boom. Makes your inventory all nice and neat. Which is great for people like me that are horrible with keeping things organized as well as they should. Uh, uh, my my lady, she is great at organizing stuff. I am horrible. If we if we were two cats, she would be the one that has like all the mice on like shelves. 
sorted by color and stuff, and like, you know, this is a field mouse, this is a this mouse, this is a that mouse. I, I would just be like the cat that's like, I just want a mouse. I don't know which mouse I want, just a mouse. Well, look at that, guys! We want to fight! We want to fight! In the fairy woods. So my XP's starting to pay off here in my combat. Uh, now we are at 84. I'm trying really hard to get that diplomacy skill and save up. And you'll notice we have been saving up the muse here. Um, <laughs> it is still a very funny name for money. Um, but no, again, you know, I mean, it just shows you the time and love put into this game. Uh, and the little details here, you know, the forest feels foresty. And I know that sounds funny, but uh, some of you out there know what I mean. If you played a bad game, you play games where, you know, they, they, they've like slapped two trees down in art and called it a forest. Where this one, they've got trees, there's appropriate wildlife in the forest that you would expect to see, like mice um, at night. You see mice that are more nocturnal, like the field mouse is more nocturnal than the mouse, so you see that come out. Um, stuff that shows that the developers have put a lot of love and thought into their product, and that's what I like to see when I play a game, but it's really what I like to see when I do a Let's Play. Uh, and one reason we're showcasing this one so much is because, frankly, I'm uh, already becoming a big fan of it. And two, again, I, I've never really seen another game like this to share with you guys, so I can't... I mean, it's one part survival, um, and if you guys are survival game nuts, then think about that. It is, because you can starve in it. You have a hunger meter. Um, plus, there's a survival making sure as you saw that bar there. So let's click on the map actually, I'll show you what I mean here. So see, and the colored bars will go through, I'll go up the screen and you'll see where that one's more green and just a little blue. See it up there? Oh, that's a little more than I thought. Um, but again, you'll even see the weather change, the forest has these glowing mushrooms. There's a certain sense of wonder, I think, in this game, and I like that. There's a kind of, uh... I don't even know the right word I'm looking for. Um, ambience, maybe? That I, I really like that these uh, developers have done. Um, now this one, you can see here, we pretty much own this. There's a little bit of resistance there, but not much. Our biggest enemies seem to be this clan here to the to the north, I think, uh, the mountain clan, the harvest mouse, that's what these little guys are called, so I'll grab one of them. Now notice, they are, it's starting to get in the eve and a little foggy. They were not out during the daytime. Um, but they are out now, so that's what I mean about like little details. That I, what's this? I have found a cave. Let's ooh, look at this. What do we find, guys? Can I slap the light? No, that would be kind of cool if I could. Um, wow. That's pretty, huh? Got some crystals in here. As somebody who really likes open road adventure games, and somebody who likes it. Just adventure games? This is definitely cool. Oh, whoa, whoa. What's going on here? Hi. I found a, a mole named Molo. Hey, you there, trampling. What do you think you're doing, trampling over the ground so loud like that? You're gonna give me a headache. There's just no respect for mole folk these days. You act like you've never seen a mole before. Uh, oh, crap. I accidentally, uh... A new flash we exist. Me and my brothers have been around for a long time. Named Molo. I run the canyon mine with my workers. Hey, that gives me an idea. Listen, old Molo ain't as young as he used to be. Are you interested in a little adventure? Yes. Maybe you could head down into the mines below. And it'd be 
a couple gems to notice there. The gems, uh, I love how they sparkle. Notice these are in new colors that we have not seen before. Those words. I do it myself, but my eyes and claws don't have the strength they once had. If you grab me some gems, I'll make sure you're rewarded. You can mine by swiping with your claws at the big rocks. Some of them have rare minerals inside. I pay mole cash in exchange for gems. You can trade your mole cash at my shop for all sorts of goodies. Your muses are no good to me, but some of my workers may be interested in them. You can descend into the mine through the entrance behind me. Fair warning, mining is tiring work. Do you want to pack a lunch? Take with you. Again, the pack of lunch is green. A few of my miners have had problems with bats too. They're nasty flying critters that tend to be aggressive, so watch yourself when you're down there. Let me know if you need any more pointers. I'll be right here and I'll go and find me some beautiful gems. Uh, time. I'm trying to watch our time here. I feel like we don't have enough time for the mining adventuring yet, but we'll come back to that. But, uh, that's cool. Now I know what's in here. And a mouse, I just ran a mouse right in the water. Oh, I still need that friggin' rabbit. Just a brown rabbit I need. Um, you know, notice I have changed my pelt, my, my coat. My fur color is now uh, one of the promo coat colors here. Um, I thought it looked a little more fitting for a cat named Mischief. see what we're doing here. And we got it! Picked up the black hair. Uh, I actually had to get one of them for that forest temple, and uh, he was kind of hard to find. Now I can't- oh, are you kidding me? I was about to say, now I can't find a normal rabbit, and there are two of them. I made a liar out of myself. No rabbit, I need you! Pull it out. Try to sneak up here again. I don't want you, squirrel. I want the rabbit. No, no, take a squirrel. I can get a squirrel. I feel like uh, I need to start hoarding some food too. On occasion, maybe. It's not a bad idea, since I lose everything if I get my butt kicked, maybe a good thing to do would be to... No rabbit! That is not my day for the rabbits, guys. Nine something at night. We're gonna try in here again and see if I can luck out and even uh, catch a single rabbit would be good. Um, one thing that's funny, too, is if... Uh, you look around, you'll notice in one of these... go. So you crouch down. I want to say at one point if I crouched down and then stood up, didn't move, and then crouched down again, I noticed there was a faint outline of the things I was hunting. And you can't hear it well because it's a let's play and I'm talking over it, but there is like a faint sound of like night animals and crickets and stuff, so... That is there, and dang it, it's a harvest mouse. I really, really wanted that to be just a rabbit. There one is. I think that's one. Yes, it is. Right, we're going to be ninja-like this time, guys. Now, again, the way this works is, see this blue little circle? I need to let that fill up, and I can pounce. But I don't want this rabbit looking at me. I don't want it to see me. And I, that's too far away for me to pounce. So what we're gonna try to do is just get behind him here. And oh, dang it! No luck. One more time. One more time. Can we get a rabbit? Uh, come on, rabbit! My cat is on a mission, and then tomorrow is, of course, the summer festival. So I'm excited for this. I don't know what kind of reindeer games we're going to be playing, but whatever we're doing, I'm totally game for it. Get it, game for it, because of the games. 
Everyone's a critic. Okay, so these are... There is a cat named Feisty. Someday I'm gonna be the best fighter in all the colony. Just you wait and see, Feisty says. Not for, before me. It's Omen. There's trouble on the borders today. I like Omen's like that, uh, the the elderly person that's always like, you know, See you youngins! <laughs> it's always up to trouble! It's wait for snappers! Oh! Uh. Yes, I should. Okay, so they're letting me know, the game is letting me know today is the day of the summer festival. So I definitely got to get uh, my butt ready for this. So let's get back here. I dillied and dallied both of the dallies. The dally on the dally, long enough. Uh, my friends are playing some weird games, I noticed. On the Steam there. Quite a few. Uh, you know, we're gonna put at least one harvest mouse. I feel like I should put a few things out here, maybe, just like... Just to be on the safe side, you know, just to have a little extra. In case I need it. And then we're gonna save my game, of course. And then we're going to go to sleep. So we can join the festival games. And, uh, there we are! You can hear the pleasant music. And I get XP for that. Oh! Todd Flippity Flop. It's so not the word I wanted to say, but that's the word I'm using. Uh, I need one experience point real quick, so I'm gonna look for anything I can hunt or grab before heading to the, the Summer Olympics here. Any one of these I can pound some will work on my computer at this point. I just I want that extra experience point. Because uh, then we can start multitasking and taking area from my group. I got a squirrel, so that's good enough. Alright. Well, let's see how this works here, shall we? Now, we're gonna unlock a skill. Active skill. Diplomacy. Yes. And yes, we would like to equip it. Alright, cool. So now, we're gonna, on the way there, we're gonna tag a place that we have been. We look like we're getting a little more land. We did not have Canyon Room the other day. Um, so we're gonna maybe. Contested that one as a little. This one here, I feel like I need to cement. So, what I think I'm gonna do is just walk down one. So down and over, down and over. Alright, for a south and to the right one, we're gonna use our skill by pressing two. You can see there. And look, look, see that? It put a little thing there for my people, so. Let my people go. I did it! I have catted, I have outcatted them. And we have totally claimed that territory, thanks to my cat, uh, cattiness. Of cat power. Um, we're doing this week as much as we can anyway. We're gonna try to do double Let's Plays. Um, we have a few neat ones in store coming up as well. But, uh, again, one other- oh god, oh god, oh god. No, this is so not good. This is not good. I'm taking serious- I'm taking real damage here, guys. Uh, because I'm going to a river. This is not good. Oh no! Mischief has been defeated. I did not mean for mischief. You even get in a fight.
Ugh. I didn't even get to go to the friggin' thing. I missed it. Now it's autumn. New. That means winter comes next. Uh, I, I'm not cheaping out here. I could cheap out, but I'm not gonna cheap out. cheap out of this and just go and like use a save and uh, reload and all that stuff. That was my own mess up, so gotta learn. Gotta learn. Um, well, now I see the importance of the swim skill, so I think we're gonna quit exploring that one as well. And at least put a point in that puppy. Because, uh, that, that, that killed me right there. It was not good. Alright. What is this? I, I'm gonna start hoarding, like, berries and things like that. Um, I don't see a reason not to, really. While I'm at it, I will pick up. some of the meats that I had set down, because I'm going to need them now. And actually, this here is Marigold, which is a healing herb, and I'm going to need that now. So, I'm definitely going to go through and do that. And like I said before, guys, like with any adventure game, you save it a lot. Uh, I was going to put my first point in foraging, now I'm wondering if I should put it in swimming instead, because that was a pretty brutal way to die. What is that? No, don't fall, oh, I ran. Wanted it. Oh, that's kind of crummy now, isn't it? Um, Canyon Plateau, is there any other area? There's Rumblin Street. Uh, the Mystics are outdoing the forest by a lot there. I wonder if I can quietly start invading territories for us, you know? Like, there's this one here, and there's this one here. So if I keep using this diplomacy skill, do I start to yank this for us out from under them? I feel like I do, and I feel like that's a good way to expand. Look at this one here. They only have point, not even a 1%. Uh, so I feel like that's a, not a bad way to go about it. Uh, the other thing I could do is aggressive striking, but I do not even have a one in everything that I'm doing yet, so I'm not doing that. I don't even have points in everything I'm doing. How do I get there? Beginner gather. I just unlocked an achievement, guys. Uh, man, I'm still a little bummed that I missed uh, the first festival, because... What the heck? There will be another on the 10th. So we're going to be doing that. We can. Um, again, like I said, one thing I do like is that your cat den is your cat den, and, you know. I also like that you can stack the use of things like your medicine here. Now, you do get a bonus if you eat. Uh, past 100. I think I read a little bit about it going up to 150 if I want, but I'm not that great a hunter yet where I can be throwing that out there. Um, I've also read that I may want to invest in the idea anyway of looking up these really weird like stones. Apparently I will know them when I see them, I'm told. So I do not know what those are, but I will look for such stones. Apparently they are vital uh, to the power paw situation thing, so... I really should be hunting more than I am too, as well, guys. Um, I feel like this is one of those games that... You could kind of lose track of time, and you could play a little bit here and forget how long you're playing it. 
But one other thing that I'm... And I know, yes, I've been showering a lot of praise on this team, but... Believe me when I say it is quite well deserved. I, uh, I have seen other people try to do, and this is going to sound ridiculous in a moment. I've seen other people try to do cat related games. Now this one, I went to. And I had three riddles and I answered them. So I wonder if they're all like that, like if they're all these sorts of stones, if so. And I kind of know what to look for with that. Uh, so here's how I'm going to work this. Uh, we're going to hit two. And look at that, we, we almost got it now. So that's what I'm going to do. And every day, slowly start taking areas and territory over for us. Like that all sneaky beaky like, you guys, what do you think? Uh, is that a good strategy? Um, it, listen, if you're a player of this game, drop me some hints below, drop me some tips, drop me some stuff that's gonna help me get ahead in this game a little bit. I would appreciate it. Um, I don't know, drop me some cool, like, uh, tips that you use. How do you, what kind of cat build do you go for? Um, am I doing okay with my cat build? What should I be focusing on? Are there skills that you stack up on first and then go back and do other ones? What do you guys do? So, uh, any and all Cat Tales game advice, feel free to link us to- Oh boy, I got some homies coming at me. Not homies either, you know. Bad guys. Bad catch, understand? There's a bad bunch of them. I've kind of figured out I can take out maybe one of these dudes at a time, but not all three. So see, I grab him. I can grab Thunder there. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I can do Racer, maybe. Oh god, do I, I need to help my health. I need something desperately to give me the upper hand. Alright, um... Uh, who one thing, let's eat all I can. I don't know if this helps, but I feel like forging myself. There's that 150%. And Valerian I need for the speed, baby. So we're gonna try to keep wailing on Racer a little bit here and hoping that I survive this ambush. This is a serious action uh, adventure game going on right now, guys. Oh, shoot. Racer, you punk. Racer got me, guys. Um, I will never surrender. I'm like... Captain Churchill. Okay, so you lose like a day when you get, uh... When you get knocked out. And I certainly got knocked out. You need healing, baby. Worth the muse. Now let's go to the shopkeeper here and explore uh, this a little, shall we? I have. I need to buy. Do you sell? You do sell a rabbit. Um, and I'm gonna buy the rabbit. I'm gonna be that. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna be that cheap about it and buy the rabbit. <laughs> and I will tell you why. Because I have had a pain of trying to friggin' find this rabbit. So. I don't mind buying it. Alright, well check that out guys, so... Uh, this is the area yesterday that I picked up for us. Today a battle is raging there. Um... This one is my next one I'm gonna start creeping up on slowly. I guess I think I should start doing that or like down here more. Um, should I just keep expanding slowly like this or should I just... Get a little more bold and try and hit some key power areas. I feel like our writing my clan is doing better than they are, but I might be wrong. I, I would count it exact spaces, but I'm just going to go ahead and say, uh, yes, we're doing better than they are, because, uh, you know, why not? Can I find something to eat? Give me the num nums, please. Give me easy nums. I find nothing. Alright. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. I found a thing over there. Yes, so eat these. 
the Blackberries berries are good. I cannot wait now afford to waste that red, but you guys will see why. Um, this is kind of a neat little thing, and I get the feeling this is probably the main game. Like, the main story game. Um, I am hoping that you get to just play after still. Uh, I'll be honest, uh, I don't want to, I don't want this one to end after the main story. I want this to be one of those that after the main story, then that may affect them. See what I mean? Oh, I need a mouse too. Alright, well let's at least get the rabbit part done. There we go. I need a mouse. I've not activated any other one on the temple yet, guys, but... Um, so yeah, so that, that part's done. So if I find a mouse along the way, we're going to nab the mouse and bring it back there. If not, then we're going to head straight back uh, and uh, do our thing and then save the game. You know, it is what it is, man. I have uh, most certainly um, been uh, enjoying this game. Now. And then tomorrow we're going to be doing two. Uh, Wednesday is going to be called Continue, which is going to be a uh, series in which we will be doing two games we've done before, but we're going to continue our stories on them. On one, I'm going to give it a second run of them, and on another one, we're going to be continuing uh, the story that you've already seen. On the one, there was no real point in trying to call it a real continue because... Mm -hmm. I, I was not doing great, so... Alright, 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 here's this thing, um... Uh, alright, uh, you know what? This is the one we're going to do. Right there. I think I'm right... I'm right near it too, I am. Alright, so let's go up. Strategi- Oh! There's a... So close to you guys. So close. Can I do it? Can I do it? Do you guys believe me? I believe in you. I, I should not have. That was a horrible, horrible promise right there. <laughs> that was so bad. Even my cat was like, come on now. Alright, so we're gonna go back to the temple right now then, aren't we? Yes, yes we are. But before we do it, uh, my darlings, let's go down to the yeah. I don't know why suddenly the sound of vaudeville, but, uh, we're steez, so we are going to use our skill and knock that out in our favor. And, uh, then we are going to, uh, use the power. Alright, guys. I'm definitely afraid of that water right now. Okay. Oh, okay, I can upgrade a skill. Uh, I'm going to do foraging first because I feel like that's at least a little important and we're not that far off from putting a point in swimming, which I'm not ignoring anymore after my last horrible, like, rush with death. We uh, have certainly learned a valuable lesson about water and respecting the river, haven't we? Yes, we have. Alright guys, well let's see what magical thing happens here when we, uh, when we do this. Strange runes appear on the pillar, you read them. You've done well, but there remains one thing I lack. Seek the purple jewel in a place of healing and contemplation. Turn you to the hollow garden. This door balance of this pillar. Hollow garden. You know right where that is. It's just north of the sacred temple. That's, uh, that's convenient. Thank you there, Coco. Coco's, uh, Coco's a good guy. Hook was a good help, you know? Hook the hook it up for us. Alright, so... Here we go, on the way to Gustav. I notice I move slower too if I am hungry. Um... I do not think it is coincidental. I think it is like a... I think it is a thing that is done on purpose. Which makes sense. It's a hike with it. Yes, I do. We're totally gonna see the purple gem this year. Better be. We need the Hello Garden. 
Oh boy, what is this here? There are all these cool things. Green. Oh, black, sorry. Green is left of yellow. So what does that tell me? First, let's take all these, and I'll see what's going on here. I can carry all these, huh? Green is left of yellow. Purple has no neighbor to the right. Right off the bat, that means purple must be the one all the way to the right, y'all, because purple has no neighbor to the right. Green is left of yellow. Red, neighbor, yellow and blue. Yellow is directly to the right of red. Blue neighbors green. Let me see something. Yellow is directly to the right of red. Red is in between yellow and blue, so I feel like red is here. And then, uh, yellow, blue. And then green. Um, we're gonna try it this way and see. Okay. Is that enough? I need to... Um... And unless I read that one too long, which I may have. It said like green is to the left of yellow, did it not? Guys, or my... Nothing has happened. Let me check this again. Green is left of yellow. Red, maybe it's yellow and blue. Yellow is directly to the right of red, okay. Not the left. Now, here is my theory, is that this is a play on words. Just because it says... I mean, there's... Oh, yes, I did something. Now, here is why I said this. It said that this was to the left of yellow, but it doesn't say how many. So I figured maybe that's important. Oh, I got something here. I found a jewel. Let's go quick to the bat cave. Or the cat cave. Or the cave with cats. Oh my god, my cat is seriously starting right now, guys. A desperate joke. It's the sprint. No more than. Oh, get out of the water. No more than that. Uh, it is not looking good for my cat as far as health is concerned, but we will get him some plants or berries to eat very soon. Let's do this. I feel like this is a historic moment I'm sharing with how many What are we doing? What is happening here? Sweet. Oh, and I woke all of the pillars up. Alright. Uh, so each pillar must need different things. So I'm guessing in order to complete the game, trout I can find. We need bugs. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright. I've not even seen any really bugs. You will see skills, which I think I can probably find. You need what? You need... Oh! Well, would you look at that? You just need plants, and you need birds. Birds are not that bad as far as can find them, so... Now I know the top two left and right on the first two objectives. And, uh, I need to get my cat out here and get him fed before he friggin' dies of starvation. He's super hungry, so let's, uh, let's get him fed, please. Like, anything will work as a food at this point. <sighs> this is kinda douchey on my cat. No, I can't do that. Yeah, I can do that. We're gonna try it. You can see here. 
and we're gonna use the diplomacy skill to start taking over even her victories. Yeah, skills, why not? I feel like this is not a great area to hunt in. Maybe it's not that bad, maybe it's horrible hunting, which is probably what it is. But let's start making our way back to back to the normal camp, and back to that area that's where it is safer for him to hunt and look for licorice or anything this poor cat can eat. He is starved. Anything. He needs food, guys. Anything food. Anything here. Oh, sweet lord. Anything at all. That'd be good. That's where it's feeding him goes. Okay. 16. He is not doing good, y'all. Yeah. We've got to nail this bird. Oh no! Damn it, bird. Got a dove. Got a dove. He's another guy's. See, there's already a little more pep in him. So I, was, I think I'm right there. The more he uh, does not eat, the slower he starts to get, the more lethargic. And which, again, is an interesting dynamic because it makes sure that you do not um, do the dumb thing that I did there and forget to feed your cat in this game. I just see in real life you don't. Uh, there's a running joke in real life, by the way, if you're a cat owner. Um, and the running joke is, you hear people all the time who don't own a cat say, Oh, well, I, I want a cat, but I'm worried I forget to feed it. And us cat owners say, trust me, if you own a cat, you will not forget to feed the cat, because the cat will remind you. And that is very true. The cat will always remind you when it is hungry that you would better feed it. My cat, even when he has... Cool food, has had his wet cat food for the day, all that. He still acts like he hasn't eaten in years, so, you know. Uh, you better believe... Hold on, we're gonna eat one more of these. Since I only need one for that thing. And, uh... We'll have him sleep. I believe he will have just enough XP. We go here. Definitely gonna upgrade that swim in at least one and help him survive the death of the river. Uh, so my game. All right, guys. So this has been uh, a double let's play of this game. Our first one on the channel. So this is historic, guys. Uh, for a game called Cattails, you can find the link below to buy this. I highly recommend it. We around here love the game. We've been playing it uh, not long, but uh, it's already kind of won us over. And uh, we're animal lovers around here. You've seen the dog in a few videos. I think you've seen the cat in a few videos. Um, so uh, make sure that you guys check this out and uh, subscribe, like. Comment below if you got any tips for this game, and thank you guys a lot for watching, and bones. You guys have a great day.